Thanks, Tiffany. Every semester, thousands of stu students leave mom and dad back home and step onto college campuses, many for the first time. But the newfound freedom can sometimes be too much to handle for the young adults, and they end up getting in trouble with the law. News 22's Zach Rael found out what happens to NMSU students when they break the rules. And what we're looking at is really what is that harm to the community? That is the question NMSU Dean of Students Michael Josick wants students to think about. On average, about 200 NMSU students get into trouble with police every semester. When the university finds out, they deal with it accordingly. It is not like a court of law where you have the prosecution and the defense, but rather we bring in the student and hear their side of the story. It's up to one person, the assistant dean of students, if you did violate the student code of conduct. We don't have, as some students would like, like to think, that we have the beyond a shadow of a doubt. We have preponderance of the evidence. Which means if they believe a student is 51% or more guilty, they can get in trouble. After that, the punishment depends on how serious the crime is. You can be put on probation, suspension, or be expelled from the university. And most students think that's fair. You know, we're given the student handbooks and everything. I know not all students read that. So maybe just kind of a one more chance, you know, familiarize yourself with the rules or, you know, threaten of expulsion. Even though they get caught, I think everybody deserves a second chance. and. It's college, people need to get an education. If we remove a student, if we suspend them, if we expel them, we've lost any hope of helping that student. But if they stay in the system and we are able to try to work with them to continue that goal, that's the best for the student and it's really what we want. Only three students since fall of 2012 have been expelled. Zach Rael, News 22. The Dean says the university seldom hears of crimes that occur off campus. 